background. Um, that, yeah, that one? That one. I was buy debating it. on whether to buy it from Amazon, which is $27.99, or Lee Bardugo just posted on her Facebook stories where if you buy it through a certain um, independent bookseller, she'll sign it for you. And I was just like, oh, but that's $45 with shipping. And I'm like, do, do I want to spend $45 or do I want to spend $27.99? Spend twenty seven. <laughs> right. She also like, bought her third copy of that Carrie Maniscalco book. <laughs> I'm so tired. That is why I'm not drinking alcohol. It's water because I've been up since four fifty a.m. this morning, and I did not stop moving since then. So I'm sorry yeah. if I if I like doze off or like stare <laughs> off into space. That's just. But you can't judge me. This book is beautiful. Have you guys seen the fairy loot edition of Kingdom of the Wicked? It's Gorgeous. It's I think I it saw is. it. it never beautiful. read it. I've never read any of her books. So I mean, I love it. Straight right edges. I'm the straight edges this are gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, let me see if I can zoom in on it. Is is it too bright? I hope it's not too bright. So that's oh. just the picture of the the cover itself. Um, and then the sprayed edges hold tight, my friends. Do, 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 hold do, tight. Do. Look at that. Oh, can you see it? Those are beautiful. Okay, have to that, yes. <laughs> so it was worth it because honestly, I, I had debated thinking, oh, you know, I'll wake up at six. I should be fine. They say they have a limited stock, but who's all going to buy this? And then I was like, don't do this to yourself because if you don't wake up at five and nab a <laughs> copy of it, you're going to be pissed at yourself. So I, I did. And then I kept refreshing the page. I'm like, at what point are they going to be sold out? And within 10 minutes, it was gone. So oh, I was like, oh, like a victory. <laughs> You're like, yeah, <laughs> but I was smart and I didn't keep hitting like the refresh button because it was starting. I knew because at first I got on there at five and I refreshed it and I was like, come on, I'm ready. And it refreshed too fast. And I was like, OK, it's not here yet. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> and <"Dang> it. <laughs> waited like 10 seconds and I did it again. And I was like, oh, you're taking much longer. I'm like, everyone's on the website at this point. Like, slow down. Don't keep hitting refresh because then you're going to get towards the end of the line and you're going to screw yourself over. So I had to like wait and I had to put my phone down. I'm like, okay. And then I thought I could use PayPal just to do it because I didn't have my card with me because I wanted to stay in bed. You were um, not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew where my purse was. So I was just like, it happened where it like, you kind of have the card like on the nightstand, <laughs> oh, ready to go. <laughs> it was a rookie mistake. It was my first time. <laughs> you learned nothing. It was like asking for all my credit card information. Like, oh my God, I got to go. And so I moved my foot and I didn't realize that Jack Ryan was under like at the bed. And so he's like, oh, you're awake. Time to grab your feet. And I was like, ah. <laughs> so it was a very, very stressful start to the morning. <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> you did it. Oh, uh, so, okay. So it says the link's not working for Brie, but. Oh, no. Hey, Shannon. I'm just going to start reading the comments. <laughs> mm -hmm. You go ahead and do that. Sorry, we're Shannon says, happy technical. Wednesday, everyone. Happy Wednesday, Shannon. Happy Wednesday, Shannon. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> but while we're having technical issues, everybody introduce yourself. Go. Hi, I'm Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you? Where am I? I'm sorry. Do I click on the wrong link? <laughs> Wait, what? Um... <laughs> You have the easiest intro. You have nothing to add. Like it's just like hi, I'm here. I, I show up on Nicole's channel. Pretty much. And I'm I here feel sometimes. bad about that. That I should be like, oh yeah, like I do all these things and I should do unboxings, but I'm really lazy. So sorry about that. I'll just continue to post pictures and maybe occasionally pictures of my cat, and hopefully that's enough for everybody. <laughs> hopefully that's enough. Not. Uh, it is. It's fine. Hi, <laughs> I'm Izzy from Happy For Now. I'm excited. I've been wanting to read this book for freaking ever. Yes. And I never prioritized it. So I was like, oh, hey, you can bully me into reading. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. like, no pressure. Oh. It works great. Sometimes you have to bully yourself into things. It's cool. It's yeah. true, though. I am Aaron. And I'm Lane. And we make up the book brood over on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, where we are. <laughs> Welcome. 
I love Take order, Nicole. I can't do this. I can't okay. host. I'm terrible. <laughs> this is so real. I love the nervous energy I'm feeling off of you. You're, you're literally like, I can't handle hosting. I can't. This is not. No. <laughs> I was just like, okay, oh. where's my cat? I'll try and like put him somewhere. And yay. <laughs> It doesn't oh, work. <laughs> she also gets this way when she's tired. She like yeah. her like her energy just goes up. But Lane, I'm really excited that you're here because we've Thank had you. we've had Aaron, of course, you know, for a couple of live streams. I was like, you got to drag her on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I see the problem is I don't read a lot of romance, but mm. this, you you knew that this was gonna yeah, this spark my energy. Nice. We snagged her. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, I don't know if you're going to be sticking around for a witchling. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm excited. No, what's next? We might have. We might have Bree. I sort of see her. I, oh, I, no, oh. not one away. I was like, I saw a video. <laughs> I'm not sure why the link is not. Oh, maybe she's here. I see darkness, like a uh, dark like room. I, don't, I see. I don't feel well, so I'm just gonna cut my camera off. Oh, okay. So, I'm glad that you're here. You can still you can still hear us, and if you talk, I think you can still hear her. So, hello. Uh, <laughs> she's just gonna be <laughs> just the silent or the unseen voice. <laughs> hello. Everybody's here. I love it. Yay. Easy. <laughs> Shannon, I missed your face. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Buy those books. Deja. Hey, Deja. Hey, Deja. <laughs> <laughs> we we miss you. you. Aren't you? I think you've signed up for a couple of them, but it's later in the summer. Is it next She's week? She signed up for a witchling, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't read this book either. It's okay. <laughs> I'm so okay, here. <laughs> if you guys have Audible Plus, I know that that's sometimes a taboo thing to say, but if you have it, it's included in your membership. <laughs> yeah. Just throw Audible. that out oh. there. <laughs> up to book three in the series, I think. Is yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> really? On Audible Plus? Yeah, Bree. Bree, you've read the series, right? You yeah, read all I of read them, or? all the way up to the last book. Okay. Oh. So I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Hi. Hey, Charles. Are you reading Sarah J. Moss? <laughs> 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 it's like every time he comes on, he's like, "I'm not even coming on the live streams anymore." <laughs> I just exist to bully him. It's fine. <laughs> You know, it was funny. I was thinking, I was thinking of him before our big road trip because uh, Scribd had uh, Akator, the first one, uh, on the on the audio, and I was like, "All right, well, I'll download it. Maybe I'll get to it." You, know? <laughs> you don't know when you bought Witchling, but you own it. That's so funny. Sometimes books just show up in my house. I feel like <laughs> I, I own a copy of it. I think somewhere, like I think I found it at a store and picked it up before, like a year ago. Yeah, I don't own this, the Witchling book, but I own another series of that author. So I was just like, huh, I recognize the name. <laughs> have, have I read them? No. <laughs> don't start with me. <laughs> More historical mystery than full out. Yeah, you just, you got a little sprinkle in, but not very much. Like the end had like the, very end. the kiss. A taste. And I was like, I need more. <laughs> there, was, there was some serious tension though. I'm just like, yes. but I need like body slammed on a wall while we're solving a mystery. You know, like, yes, absolutely. Yes. That's what this book was missing for sure. <laughs> I still really liked it. Yeah. No means, so I tell you, it's bad. I was just like, oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> Would made it, that would have made it just perfect. <laughs> just like, you know, just a little cherry on top. <laughs> yes, I love Kate. I think it's Kate Redding is the Kate narrator. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. does the Pink Carnation yeah. series, which I also really like. Uh, so, and I, it's sad because I had just finished that book. And then this one started and I was like, I swear I meant to start the uh, study in Scarlet Women. And I was like, 
I did, but it's the same narrator, so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> You're like, I recognize this voice. Oh, <laughs> uh, Akatar. <laughs> hey, Emma. Hey. <laughs> Emma Ray's here. Then ultimate slow bird, of course. Oh, over the course feeling. of the series. Okay, got it. I mean, he's married. And that was one thing that bothered me is that he was married in the series and it was, and I get that this is the time period, but everyone seemed to have a mistress and it was okay for the men to do that. And I was just like, all y'all fucking better stay with one person. Like, you bastards. <laughs> That's just my opinion. But. <laughs> <That's my opinion. laughs> Unless, yeah, unless it's some kind of agreement. <laughs> yeah. But oh. yeah, seri like seriously. And also, um, the dad, uh, Charlotte's dad, if he told his wife to shut up like one more time. Oh my gosh. The rope him. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, he always told her to shut up or just like stop talking. It's like, oh my gosh. He it was just a jerk. <laughs> And it might have been the audiobook for me, but sometimes it reminded me of like Pride and Prejudice, the uh, husband wife duo, where like the, the wife was a little extreme. And maybe that's because I was like half listening to it while doing the dishes sometimes, where I was just like, oh, like he's sticking up for her. But then I would read it, so like I'd hear it a second time and I'd go, wait a minute. Like, is it, is it really? <laughs> so. But I don't think, I mean, Mr. Bennett, I don't think ever told her to shut up. Yeah, no, <laughs> he did not. <laughs> no. Said that Mr. Bennett did love his wife for yes. six, and that you know there was no television back then. You had to get your entertainment <laughs> somehow. So <laughs> marry the busybody. <laughs> he just let her go on. He just like he just let her ramble, and she's like, "Oh my poor nerves!" And he's like reading the newspaper. He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they had been married yep. for how long? I think he knew at that point that, you know, arguing or kind of feeding into it is just not going to be good for him. True, <laughs> <No>. true. <laughs> so, but yeah, the dad in this book, I was like, oh my God, I hate you. And then um, the whole thing, like where he promised Charlotte, you know, like he would, he would like take care of her and like get her like the education that she wanted. And then he goes back on that promise and she did what she did. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was I laughing so hard. I was like, I don't know if like, I even didn't like... expect that from her. <laughs> like as a character, immediately I was like, this is not gonna work out. Is she gonna do something real dumb? And we were gonna be like, Yup, of course you did that because your dad was her, like, Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. For her, it was an extremely calculated move where you're oh, like, yeah. Okay, you went back on your promise. I'm doing it the only way that I know how, like you want me to get married. I'm going to make myself so ineligible. Unel like, here we are. Like you did this. And she even straight said like, you know, there were promises made that some people in this room didn't keep. I'm like, Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. I just love, that's what I love about, Sherlock and then also like Sherlock retellings is that the way they kind of go everything in their brain and then when they finally like just like just tell like tell the person there's a couple of scenes in here where it's like well you have this and this and this and this and this and they just go on like paragraphs of like how they figured everything out I was like that is just so amazing <laughs> <laughs> she did it a few times in this book so I really liked it I liked it too at the end how they um, they were talking about how like, oh, you take a story, you change the names, and you also sort of change the story enough, and it's like, well, that's the actual Sherlock story, and I was like, that's really cool that you did it that way. It's just like, it all kind of ties up, and it was really fun to to have that little, I know that that's towards the end. Spoiler alert, we're talking about the end now. <laughs> <laughs> I think people just know that we're, we're starting at the end. Away. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> what is oh, yeah. order? I don't that's there's no and then like sometimes I'll even like Deja if Deja's still here she'll tell you that you know we're supposed to be talking about non-spoilery things for the Spoon Sisters book club and then I just I totally just say a spoiler I'm like I'm sorry I'm just I'm just gonna mute myself <laughs> <laughs> I cannot be trusted <laughs> I think we did that with the 
Hey. There was a story we were talking about. We weren't going to talk about the killer. And then all of a sudden, you said exactly who it was right after we said we weren't going to say the killer. And I was like, yeah, it's the <laughs> motivation's price, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, probably. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> yeah, Deja knows. <laughs> Sorry, Brie, I think you were saying something and I talked over you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still here, Brie? I can't really hear myself. I don't know what's happening. So don't worry about oh, it. No. <laughs> we can hear you. We yeah. can hear you. You're louder Our than you were before. Internet doesn't want me to be great. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's everybody's internet like even my internet when i first know. started like we can we can still hear you mm -hmm. but even my internet like when i first started it was doing that little like wi-fi thing and i'm just like oh no it's not gonna be the night for this <laughs> <laughs> like no thank you i had someone at work because I always call it the spinning wheel of death. And someone said it's the spinning wheel of patience. And I was like, oh, my God, like, blew my mind. No, it's, no, it's no, just, no. It should no. be something no, similar. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bad. No, definitely not. That's all the way. You haven't lived until you have the spinning wheel of death. And, like, you're trying to save a project you've been working hours on. Like, come on. <sighs> it's death. It is not patience. <laughs> it, tests, it tests my patience. Oh, yeah, we lost Bree. Oh, we lost. Hold yeah. on. She might still be here. Free. I'm just going to add her back in if she talks great. <laughs> can you hear me now? I yeah. can hear you. I think it was my iPad. It didn't want me to be great and also lay down. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You have to sit up and participate. <laughs> God damn it. it said not today. Yes. Uh, I wish y'all read... I want to spoil it, but I'm just trying not to because I've read ahead. But Charlotte, love her. Her sister, you know, um, yeah. Really? That's all I'm going to say. Interesting. That's very interesting. Charlotte is a very complex person. Uh -huh. don't, let, don't let her independent fool you. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so like I I really I really really enjoy this and I, I am you know looking forward to continuing on with the series I think Hoopla has three yeah my favorite one in the <laughs> series so far is Conspiracy uh, in Bulgravia is that book three or, or two that's book two, two. That's book two. Yeah. yeah that's my fave yeah that one is I honestly I literally just checked it out <laughs> nice Aaron did you read that one too yeah, I've read I've read up to the third one, so I haven't read the fourth one yet. But yeah, yeah I've, I've enjoyed the uh, the follow ups probably more than the than the initial one. I feel like the yeah. first one struggles because in a way where it's like trying to set you up for so much. Like that first like two chap like I guess it's a prologue in chapter one. I was like a lot of info happening. What is going on? And I was yeah. just like, I'm just sit back. I'm gonna let it take me on the journey. And then I didn't feel like much happened until like the 50% mark. Yeah. And for a mystery. But I was like, okay, we're setting up like a six plus book series. So oh, I can have a little, little grace to let it like develop more. It was definitely info dumpy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I felt like it could have brevity. <laughs> brevity. <Yeah. laughs> could have been the key. Um, but, you know, uh, mistakes were made. But other than that, I do feel that. The author does a great job, in my opinion, on reminding you about the shit that happens in the previous books. Mm. Like, oh, you know, so he salt bay you, you know, just sprinkle, Let's sprinkle a little salt in your life and you feel good, I think. <laughs> That's good, especially because if you're, you know, you have to wait a long time in between books, you know, um, and then you're like, you can't remember <laughs> like me, I can't remember what happens in books. I can't remember after I finish the book. I'm like, oh, and you guys start talking about things, and I go, did, I did read that. Yeah, yes. I forgot about it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm buddy reading uh, Crush with um, Crush. Whitney and Lo and Lauren from Tracy Wolf, kind of like the better version of Twilight. And so I'm reading the second book, and I could not remember how the first book ended. I was like, can someone tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> yeah. 
was like, I do not want to reread the last half of this book so I can prepare myself for book two. True. Yeah. I, I like the under, the underneath romance of different characters in this series mm -hmm. and tragedy. <laughs> I love <laughs> <for this tragedy. laughs> I really, really liked the um, detective. I can't think of his name right now. I'm so sorry. I have a I have a poster note in here somewhere. But he really did love his wife, and he wanted to be with his wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was it was like, really cute. Are you okay. talking about Lord Ingram? No, no the, the other detective one. guy, the police guy. I thought Lord, well, Ingram, Lord Ingram. Just saying, keep your <laughs> eye on him. Bree's <laughs> like he's. A I would read the, the second book, and I'm like, Bree said to watch him, and then. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, no, nope. exactly. not wrong. Keep your yeah, eye on that no. guy. <laughs> keep your eye on everyone. <laughs> I mean, that too. <laughs> You know, when I'm reading some form of mystery, like the literal only person that I'll trust is the main character in their like love interest. But since she's like so like she's going so hard for Lord Lord Ingram, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> someone needs to write a book where the main killer main character is the killer and they keep it from us the whole time, and then it's just it'll ruin you, Nicole, because you'll be like, that I've read one that time. one. <laughs> I read that. I read that what? thriller. I can't this? tell you because now I know. Know. you know who the killer is. <laughs> and I was like, what's the name of that book? And I was like, wait a minute, that's not going to work. Gonna I can't tell you anything about it. I was like, give me the so name surprised. of five books. Gosh. <laughs> Just it it's a thriller. They had a new one come out this year from that author as well. And it's a male author. I'll tell you that. Oh. oh Have any of you? It out. <laughs> I, I haven't. Oh. Have any of you seen, um, it's a TV show, but I read the books because that's just, yeah. Um, Miss, uh, Miss Fisher Murder Mysteries? Anybody? No? no? I know what it is. I've never watched it. Well, Dottie, the right-hand man to Miss Fisher, reminds me a lot of Lydia, just smarter. Mm -hmm. Just smarter. Got it. Okay. Interesting. It's Lydia and is Charlotte's sister, right? L Livia? Livia. Livia. I don't call the white lady Lydia. Damn. <laughs> um, for some reason, I was thinking Lydia from I Teen Wolf. went to Styles and Teen Wolf, and I was just like, I'm here for it. But then I was like, I don't think that's who she's referencing. I went to Beatles. I Beatles. also like Teen Wolf. A fan. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, Brie. I know, like, we. We call um, Annabeth from Percy Jackson during our lives. We call her Annabelle. Like it's a thing now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I still her name is no longer like Annabelle. <laughs> I still don't like her. She is snake in the grass. Oh no. <laughs> time, time and again to prove herself, but I just feel like she hasn't done it yet. I don't know. <laughs> she did. She did take a knife for Percy though. <laughs> Miss Fisher, is it Australian? I've heard good things about this one. It is. It okay. is. The books are so great. They're just so cozy, so fast. I love it. I'm gonna write it down. Yeah, the the author is Carrie something wood, letter wood, have a wood, have some wood. I, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of wood. Got it. Yeah. Carrie Greenwood. There we look at God coming through the screen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Very few times will I ever be able to do that. It's good reads. <laughs> Don't give that. away the secret. You, you pretend that, that was divine intervention. Me. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Jen, you're All right, I'll allow it. <laughs> Let that go to your head. <laughs> Just soak in the greatness. Oh, Shannon, you've read the books too. Okay, nice, awesome. Nice. I wrote it down. I will. I will. If you want more gory historical mystery, try The Business of Blood by Ker Kerrigan Byrne. I have that on my TBR. I really want to read it. I still have to read that one. The Highwayman, was it? Is he by Kerrigan Byrne? Yeah, I didn't like it. You didn't? Damn. I didn't really like it. It's like, I can't do gory, so. I'm I nervous like for next week. 
or two weeks from now, which like I've heard it's a horror genre and I was not prepared for that when we did it. I was just like, yeah, sure. Everyone's recommending this. And then I think Nicole, you were like, yeah, this is horror. And I was like, who oh, didn't say I that? Okay, it's romance. Shocked. It's not horror. It's not. Oh, okay. Then maybe I read something wrong somewhere. I'm going to hope that that's the like, case. Please. I mean, it's going to have demons and witches and paranormal. So it could have a I little, think. but it's not going to be. She's read Dark Hunter. She's fine. Okay. Well, you'll be fine. It won't be worse than Dark Hunter? Nicole, do not stand or brown this on me saying, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Ma'am, I haven't even read the book. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to read that tomorrow. Can't do it. <laughs> and get back to me. I'm already behind on my Degrassi readathon TBR. You have so many books you started. You're like Shannon already. I was like, who are you? I saw you on Facebook. Uh, Y'all give me anxiety. Like six, and I'm going, oh, who? No. I just cannot oh. finish a book. I finished this book, though. So I'm down oh. to five books started. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, can't finish a book to save my life at this point. Stressful time. for me. Shannon was up to 38, I think, a couple weeks ago, and I was just like, I was feeling the pressure for you, Shannon. That that's Shannon's on a whole nother level with her she currently is. reading, okay? <laughs> she really is. <laughs> um, uh, it's not a horror. Uh, we My bad. Let me Google, because maybe maybe I did something wrong here. Give me a moment. It's definitely a paranormal <laughs> romance. Yeah, which is paranormal. Yeah. Okay. I have lied to everybody. I apologize. God was not speaking with me on that one. <laughs> really? Uh, God, Nicole, you, Shannon, and Charles, like, need to get together and, like, have a stream and just clear your currently readings a little just bit. Just get maybe? through it. <laughs> just get maybe through it. Just, just, you know, I've got three. Like, that's my limit. <laughs> Shannon's trying. We're all trying. It's, you know, it's I a thing. A problem where I just... <laughs> I can't figure out what I want to read. That's what I just want to read. Like I want to do a lot of rereads right now, but then as soon as I start them, I'm like, oh, I've already read this. Like I'm over it already. So it's like the the motivation is there, but then I just don't want to start anything new. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know her either, Brie. <laughs> oh, it says paranormal romance, fantasy fiction. I don't know where I heard it was horror. I'm all over the place. Super sorry, everybody. You were just scared. It's okay. 38, was, Shannon. Shannon. I'm, anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down to zero. <laughs> anxiety for me. Discovery I, Witches trilogy is good, but some pretty gory bits. Uh, just I watch the show. I just rewatched the first season. I'm somehow going to try and find a way to rewatch the or watch the second one uh, <laughs> somehow free. That's my goal. And then I'll probably read the third book and then the fourth one that Nicole hated because she doesn't like Marcus. I just don't like that series at all. Just watch the show. The show's better. Revoke the amen. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tasha. Oh, yay. Yeah, you're so I funny. saw that on Twitter. Twitter. Yes. Yeah. Twitter or Instagram. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. <laughs> Three, I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, the rule is three. Any more than three, something's got to come off the list. Unless I'm finishing <laughs> it right then. Yeah. At this point, I feel like I'm lying because I got like 10 books I'm looking at right now that I've read <laughs> one chapter of, and then Criminal Minds come on, and then I forget, or then I want to play with my little niece. She's four months with a little chunky thigh. Oh. Oh, I mean, you. that's important. <laughs> that's important. You gotta squish when you, you can know, still squish up. She's just so cute. She slobs everywhere. I'm like, okay, I'll allow it. You know, this one time. It. You know, <laughs> he's a bit shitty, but who's not at four? You know. Goodreads. I get on Goodreads with demons, so if that's a big no for you, it might not be good to look into. Okay, God. I could probably I like, deal with it. I like I'll a be okay. paranormal romance. We're good. We're fine. There's a method to your madness. <laughs> He's oh. a liar. There's no method. <laughs> There's no method. Just <laughs> hanging on by a prayer here, you know. Team monetize your sandwich. Free. <laughs> oh, man. I've yeah, never I've... been at zero currently. I have, and I feel like I don't know what to do with my life. That's where I'm at. Like, I finished this book, and I'm like, now what do I read? 
I have Witchling technically, but then I also kind of want to start the second book in this series, but then I also want to try and finish the Bridgerton series, but then I also want to finish the Pink Carnation series. And I'm just confused, guys. I don't know Let's what do I want. Start on a hat and pull a card out. Mm. And that's what you read now. Let's do that. Yeah. Do a try yeah. chapter. You can also oh, do yeah. a generator too. Do what? A generator? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> oh, generator app. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, just like a random one, generator, try a chapter, all great ideas. Or just start them all like I do. <laughs> Maybe that'll encourage me, force me to read them. That's what sometimes I do when the library books come in. I'm like, I've delayed you. There's a cat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have to scream. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like I'll just tell myself I'm going to read it. So I accept it, borrow it from the library. And then I'm like, this is a mistake. I don't know why I did this to myself. <laughs> Guys, I've decided to learn how to touch up my roots and dye my own hair with my mom's so help. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck, Deja. <laughs> Good luck, honey. Good luck. I've never dyed my hair ever. Me either. Discovery of witches, demons don't scare me, but I don't know about this new one. Just give it a try. If it starts scaring you, just put it down. It's Daytime totally reading only. Daytime reading, yes. Are you read all my horror? Daytime. You are. You're good. You're good at it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing, Deja. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh, time. That's what you use because I've seen you do it. Okay. Because I need suggestions on the apps. The app is a great idea. So I'm gonna. Is it your cat so cute? I'm just insane. <laughs> <laughs> She's obsessed. You could All be right. sitting in your dad's lap, but you said no. I have to come bug, bug mom. Are you ready to tangent back to the book? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, for a few minutes, we can. For a few minutes, it's fine. I'm gonna be attached to the cat and being like, look at, look at, look at her. <laughs> Wishing my cat was somewhere nearby. Wait, is that him hiding? Nope, that's just a shadow. It's okay, guys. She's always All nearby. Right. Let us know, Jen. <laughs> 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 okay, bye. Okay. okay. Oh, now she left. Oh, no, she's back. No, no she's back. <laughs> <laughs> so what I really love also about Charlotte is that her love of food. I really mm -hmm. enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And she has yes. calculated exactly how many chins she needs for her face to look good. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that was mentioned, I was dying laughing. I was like, I should probably do that because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, I've reached yeah. my, my number of chins, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> it's like I have to like, slim it down a little bit. I have salads, though, the... okay? It's not that bad. <laughs> I just Girl. love that she, like, enjoyed food and, like, they talked about enjoying food. I feel like we don't get that enough in, like, heroines yeah. and books. Yeah. So this is supposed to be her, right? <laughs> I believe so, yeah. I mean, can, she could be so a little bit more plus-sized, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But... Okay, I wasn't that. the only one. I wasn't Breaking the only one. Description. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. But my literal first post it out is back, is when the cook asked her, how many pieces of apple fritter do you want, Miss Charlotte? The, the girl have given a beautifully enunciated 12. <laughs> <laughs> girl, and I'm like, my own heart. <laughs> seriously. It's like, get those apple fritters. <laughs> 12, <laughs> please. Thank you. <laughs> Oh sure. my goodness. The corset could also help slim her down. Oh, fun side. Yeah. I feel like, um, yeah, yeah I've, you know, worn corsets when going to the run fair, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look great. They, you know, fantastic. But I'm just like, uh, as soon as I hit my car, I'm taking it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just always think of I, when I think of, oh, go ahead. I was saying, it, I still feel like, even with a corset, she should have been a little bigger, possibly, yeah. on the cover. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. it's supposed to be her. Yeah. Obviously, we can't win them all. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about you and corsets, Nicole, I always think about that Halloween costume you did as a mermaid. Oh, yeah, my steampunk aerial. That's, that's because actually that's my of... picture. <laughs> For, mm. For uh, what? Uh, on my phone. Like, if you were to call, oh. it's, that's your picture. That's so if you want people to see it, call me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll show I think it. I've, I've oh, shared I it a, a bunch of times. That's one of my favorite uh, costumes that I've done. It's really, I really enjoy doing that one. Yeah. 
Next person. <laughs> um, we've talked about this, but I feel like it just needs to be said again. Like when, like, she basically, you know, called her dad out about not keeping his promises, and she had to do mm -hmm. what she had to do to get her way. And I, I love it. You know, <laughs> it's, yeah, I just it's better to ask. What do you think? I just love following the character. Like there isn't, uh, like Izzy was saying, there isn't a lot of story, you know, in it. But just following the along is just, mm -hmm. just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be in her world. Like you're like, yeah, let's go on this ride with me. <laughs> like, yeah, I actually, I just want to be her friend. Yeah, we're talking about Charlotte, right? Yeah. yeah. I I I went to my Goodreads, good old Goodreads. Shout out to Goodreads. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I wrote down a few quotes. Can I share them? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like I'm breaking up, but when you're, she you're said not. love is a perishable good, I hit the floor. I just remember reading that, and I was like, woman after my own heart. Or when she said, given the cost and constraints, I'm not willing to take this gamble. I'm like, if that's not the most elegant way of saying, hell no, we won't go. Like, I don't know what that is. And then she, and then she said this, and I almost fell out. She said, you are far more likely to undercharge than undercharge, my dear, because you don't yet understand your own value and you have mm -hmm. never been taught to demand your, demand your full worth. I appointed myself the accountant of this operation because I had to learn both. Okay, queen. <laughs> <laughs> like that took me out. So anyway, yep. I want it. I just wanted to say that. I love that quote, that last one that you yeah. read, because yeah, I, 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 that one did resonate with me as well. It's just like, I can think of, and I probably do it myself, but I could think of like three friends I know that like undervalue what they do. They charge less. And I'm just like, you're so much better. Like you do so much more charge people adequately. We all need a Miss Watson to say, you need to pay me $5,000 for this task. I know that that seems a little extreme, but she knows her people. She knows what to charge. She knows what she wants. So when I start my OnlyFans and selling feed pics online, I'm gonna let yes. them know. I'm gonna let them know. You can eat my so coin. To, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so close to doing that, honestly. So close to quitting my job and doing that. It's not even. There's a lot more that goes into that decision. So before you make it, please have big conversations. Um, my, I told my husband about it. And don't he was let like, TikTok convince you it's an easy job. <laughs> it's not. But and that there, like... there's also other implications. Like sometimes banks will close your bank account and stuff. What? Damn, mm -hmm. so I can't be a sugar babe? <laughs> yeah, like they'll literally like just take your money and like shut your account down. Because wow. it's wow. Wow. This is why I'm saying like. I'm very pro sex work, but you got there's there's a lot of things you got to think about before you, you yeah. venture down that path. I just feel so sorry to crush dreams. It's just me. Just me. <laughs> <It's just me. laughs> I, and then like a job finds it, and it, it's a whole other thing. They won't catch me. She's a runner. She's a track star. That's me. <laughs> I'm giving that star. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, daddy! Ah, uh, <laughs> Dave is looking for loose. Sugar chains. daddy touches you in the no no place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like they're nasty. Wow, so we really went there. I <laughs> mean, I mean, I mean, only like, sugar daddy. <laughs> like if maybe if they're hot, but like come <laughs> on, most of the not in that, that no no place. I'm just going to say, I think somebody did the research and now informing <laughs> us about what yeah. not to do. I said what I said. <laughs> I said Fine. Fine. Yeah, Paige was looking I for asked my partner. I said, can I get a shirt out of you? And I was like, oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. They're not going to be satisfied with pictures for long. They're going to want the goods. Yep. I'm not exactly. <laughs> hey, I've, change. Mine said, here's, here's an idea to do this on OF. And I said, that's not a bad idea, but... No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> really good accountant. What kind of accountant? <laughs> I am an accountant. 
You don't need to know what kind. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what kind of account are we talking about? What kind of account? Uh, oh my gosh, you guys. No, I have ended up on that side of TikTok where like they expose all of it and I'm like, oh. And I was like, you yeah. know what? I'm I'm not surprised, honestly, because why is my cat typing? Here we go. They're <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like left. Cat's just like, this is what I thought. <laughs> she wants a sugar daddy to buy her all the cat toys. If you don't teach your cat about catnip, though, who will? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I'm good with cat puns, sort of. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was an amazing like, laugh. Lane and Aaron is like, what is going on? <laughs> what is on? happening? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a, a polite way to say, well, your cat should start posting, you know, her own kitty pictures then <laughs> make her own dough. She you know, <laughs> you, need to, you need to get out on the streets and you need to, to attract those cat sugar daddy men. Right. What else yeah. sugar daddy at? What else sugar daddy I say at? that. And I buy her toys and she doesn't fucking touch them. So, you know. <laughs> she won't do that. But, okay, the box that it came in, she'll be more interested in. It is mm -hmm. such a true cat thing. I'll buy yeah. a toy for it. And he'll be more interested in the freaking tag that I take off of a toy than the toy itself. No matter She'd how much cat play with her brother. I roll on this. And I'm just like, You'd rather oh. play with the dog. Wow. <laughs> and the dog toys. She plays with the dog the toys. Dog, the dog toys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, that is and the 50 pound dog because that's what you do when you're seven pounds you say let me let me fuck up this 50 pound dog <laughs> it's like i'm faster than you you can't run from me exactly. she's like i got it <laughs> once cats have catnip all other toys are boring it's a slippery slope yeah be careful and not not to crush anybody's mood. I hate cats and highly allergic to all of them. Oh no! Not, love Aww. it for you. Love it for you. Get out of here, Nicole. <laughs> I know you. I, over I there. like like this side, like this side, or this side of the stream yard is like allergic to cats. And then <laughs> we're all over here thinking cat people. <laughs> listen, listen, I my just friend like cat just pissed on <laughs> my uh, dresser. We found no. out today. This cat oh, loves pissing wow. on my shit, and it took a nice little pee, and it said, that's mine now. So oh, now if you see flyers going up about, have you seen the cat? She don't know. I kidnapped it. It's in my basement now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, a nice little chubby cat, but he definitely peed on my, my thing. <laughs> you real thought anybody you. got some loose shit? Oh, yeah, you got me with that TikTok. Oh, <laughs> I was ready to, like, Venmo her some money. I was like, what do you need? Like, let me know. And she's just like, oh, it's a prank. It's on TikTok. I was like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet of you for, like, being there, though, being like, if you need it, tell me. Like, talk to me. I'm here for you. <laughs> and then she goes and posts on Instagram. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> 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 she just wanted to call you out directly into everyone. I, like, yeah. like, I did this prank on my friend Nicole. My like, awesome. <laughs> I was here about ready to direct deposit my check into your account, and it was a it was a joke. Got it. <laughs> you gotta get on the TikTok trends, Nicole, so you're ahead of it before she sends it to you, and then you know what's right. going on, so you can just play into it. Nailed it. <laughs> just like respond back with the same thing. Like mm. I'm also broke. I feel you. Forty three cents. Ah. <laughs> Dang, got no money. No. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm so sorry, your booktube sugar mama hasn't been sending you any books. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta wait till I get paid. <laughs> All right. Back to the book tangent, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we've recognized that a book. The book is a tangent because it's a hundred percent accurate. Like, let's just be real, friends. <laughs> the book. The book is the tangent. This is what. This is true. I hate to say that it gets better, but it it does. Uh, I felt like it was a good setup for. A, I liked a series, it, honestly. I liked it though. So if there's just not better, a lot to unpack besides like a badass Sherlock Holmes character. Yeah, yeah. that's a woman. So like. That's always a party. Yeah. <laughs> introducing, you know, setting up the scene, introducing a lot of characters. And then, you know, once everybody's introduced, you can really start, you know, like going on the, 
like the Sherlockiness in book two, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I love how they eventually like set him up and set up Sherlock in another room. He's sick, but I'll go ahead. He'll hear you through the wall. They were just like leaving this. Like, come on. They were. They were just like, no, she can't be this smart. That's ridiculous. No. <laughs> like, this like, guy. Oh, man. At one point, I was just like, oh, yeah, he can see and hear you through the other room. So talk like you're talking to him. I'll go and talk with him afterwards. I'm just going. Who's dumb enough to believe this? And I'm like, you, 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 you're all paying her. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they were, they were giving her her coins. This was getting her coins <laughs> in <laughs> order. Think, <laughs> think about like when they did the seance room stuff and like oh, yeah. how they revealed how they did it. And everyone was like, no, 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 we, we, this is real. Like, this is real. We're not going <laughs> to listen to the method you use. This is real. What we experienced was real. It's the same thing. So they're just like, yeah, it's they're totally Sherlock is in this other room sick, and it's not this girl here that knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Women, they don't have brains. <laughs> exactly. That's how she pulled the fast one. <laughs> I think the <laughs> mysteries in future books are more complex, and we have mm. a few other larger story arcs going on. Okay. Okay. I'm for it. I'm reading them, so. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get to these other books, but it's going to happen. I bought them when they went on sale at uh, Barnes & Noble. Our Barnes & Noble was closing, and I they had 40% yeah. off everything. And I said, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> we went We went a few days. We went for multiple days. I went three days. times. Okay, oh, I went helpful. three times, and I've spent about the same amount each damn time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not, I mean, I'm sad that it closed, but, like, man, things I was doing. And finds it all that was closing the amount of books I would walk out with. Uh, wow. They said they were gonna like open somewhere else. They had like another venue in mind, potentially, but I haven't seen it yet. And I'm like, come on. I know I'm I'm waiting for it, but then I'm also like now I'm hoping like all the other locations, they're like, we're gonna downsize, so we're closing this store. I'm like, close. Come on, close, 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 close. <laughs> <Just like, "Come laughs> <on." laughs> have you guys ever seen American Sweethearts? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so there's a scene where I think it's John Cusack is on the roof and it's the current boyfriend on the ground who's like, jump, 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 pussy, jump. <laughs> and I was just like, that's yeah. exactly what I'm doing in my mind. I'm thinking about all of the Barnes and Nobles. I'm like, come on, just close the location. <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy all the books. Oh my gosh, this character guys. was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that scene. It's gonna be yeah. pussy pancake. That's that scene <laughs> is like imprinted in my head. I don't know why, but it's just too funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't seen that movie in forever. It's fun, it's been a while. Yeah, that Barnes Noble was there for like 20 years or something, and then yeah, the, like they didn't want to renew the lease. I'm like, what? Yeah, but it was a really big location, and to be honest with you, that one section was always like empty. So they really did need to downsize that particular location, especially because most things are digital now, unfortunately. Yeah. So it's across the street from a half price book. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's like super dangerous. Yeah. True. Like, Although it's also, it could be potentially smart because if half price books doesn't have the book for you, you could just be like, all right, well now I've got to go play, pay full price. I, so it I, could work I, out. I go to like every half price books I see when I travel and I can't like stop myself. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. 100%. <laughs> it's like you got it. Like you, I go to the clearance price. section first. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have my suitcases like books from half price books every time. I'm like, <laughs> I go see my brother. I'm like, you can you take me to half price books? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love you. No. There. I want to go there though. There's some in Texas. Yep. There should be one not far right from you, I, I would think. But I don't they know. also have a website, and I think their shipping is free? not great. No, no okay, it's not mind. free. It's not great because I've looked on there for stuff before. Oh, God. Never mind then. I've lied to you all again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if we had a used bookstore in my town, my family would have my picture up with a no sign. <laughs> don't allow entrance. <laughs> You know what? I I would I would ignore it and just go in. It's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. Okay, that's the point. Live your life. <laughs> yes. That's not going to turn you away. You know. I know. Let me. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're not going to turn you away. 
we need your money to stay open. <laughs> you have that employee just ripping it down every day. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, seriously. <laughs> spoke tangent time, okay? <laughs> all right, what's the next post it note then? So we can uh, tangent again. Come on, Nicole, faster. <laughs> stop talking, Jen. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. I think the point where I'm so tired that it's just like the energy is on point. I'm going to get off of here and be like, I'm ready for never bed. And then I'll, <laughs> like an hour from now, I'll just be like, how am I still awake? That's exactly how it's going to go. I'm just Words imagining you now. face planting after this. Mm -hmm. You're like, just so tired. <laughs> are yeah, you she, she, has a, she has more energy for all of us, for sure. I know. I know. I'm going on 15 hours of being awake, guys. And I've only had one coffee today. So be proud of me. Damn. Do you, you feel parched? Drink your water. Okay, so my next post-it note is when Charlotte is talking to that uh, Mrs. Wallace and basically like kicking her out of that like house <laughs> this because is like, yeah. this is like this so cemented great. Charlotte for me as a character. I was like, I'm here for her and anything she wants to do yeah. now because she's like, oh, what about your gentleman caller? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. and she was like, lies. I will not. I will not stand. Calling me a hoe. I'm gonna call you a hoe, lady. <laughs> you a hoe, hoe. <laughs> Love it. And I just really love, like, honestly, it's like she could have just left it alone. She would have just had to give Charlotte her money back. She was ready, like, okay, no problem. I'll leave. But she was like, no, I'm going to keep your rent. And I'm like, mm, you done made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> She's on her last penny. And that one stupid little girl stole her one pound note. I felt so bad for her. I was yeah. just like, oh, look, she did a good thing. Good karma's out in there. And then as soon as she talked about the one pound note, and I'm like, oh, damn, it's gone. Mm -hmm. You don't have it. It's yeah. no longer there. She was like, there was two buttons here one was undone for like little fingers to get in there and i was just like oh man you sneaky little devil you can't trust these kids you can't trust no. these kids oh. <laughs> like, oh, dang. So so you at the same time yeah. yep. oh, i thought it was so sweet too she hugged her she's like thank you so much and i was like oh how adorable <laughs> and then like seconds later i was like you Fucking little child. I'm just saying, return all the babies in 2021. <laughs> return all the babies. Oh my uh, gosh. Okay, my next my next post note is just basically her saying, like she's calculated via scientific trials. I have determined the precise weight to the ounce at which the shape of my face changes to my detriment. <laughs> she can have 1.5 to 1.6 chins. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, oh every time that came up i was like oh god it doesn't oh. stop too in the way oh, yeah that's, that's awesome chins comes up all the time i love <laughs> that i love it oh my girl she's so <laughs> i love it i was really sad when we learned um uh, it's Mrs. Watson, but she was going at this point in this scene where she we, she was going by Mrs. Jebediah um, about um, her husband dying. And she, he was the young one. And they had joked about, you know, like her getting older and, you know, making fun of like her gray hair and wrinkles and stuff. But now, like, she wishes that were the case because she would have much rather had him there. And for that to be the case instead, like he was the one like the first to go. And I was just, she's like, I never thought God would take him first. That instead of dreading the appearance of each new wrinkle, each new white hair, I could only wish he were here to witness my inevitable aging. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so freaking sad. And then we learn that her name is Mrs. Watson. I'm just like, aha, another Sherlock pun. I like it. <laughs> I got super excited, but then I also got really panicky. I was just like, what if this is the one where Watson is like not a good combo with the Sherlock Watson? I'm like, it has to be, but also what if they're effing with me? I can't read Cozy Mysteries now because everyone's a suspect, even the yep. people that probably shouldn't be. So, Yep, I thought I that too. I was like, so Watson is grandma? <laughs> <laughs> I think even uh, even uh, Olivia was just like, I still don't trust Mrs. Watson. I was just like, okay, should I trust her? Should I not? Yeah. I was like, Hemin and Han. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Well, especially when they her. when they went on the business adventure and she's like, I'll take a cut of your funds. I was just like, oh damn, like is this little girl thing coming back to haunt us? And now it's like an old lady that's doing it to you. Like I got very nervous and panicky for her. I'm still kind of nervous and panicky, but at the same time, I'm not as much. 
Oh, I just, Listen, I just, Charlotte can handle her own, okay? <laughs> She's okay, not to be fucked with. Yes. <laughs> not like, to okay. be fucked with. <laughs> I, I, now that you said that, I feel better. Thank you. <laughs> because you know, you know the things. You know the things. Yeah, but this one, the, the crime did seem to have much more distance than a lot of the cozies we've been reading recently True. From, the, from the protagonist. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I forgot sometimes if there was a murder that we were trying to solve. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, too. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. At least that it was going on. Happened. Someone has died. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then they keep talking about, like, the people that were coming into her. And I just keep thinking of the Sherlock Holmes TV show where, like, all of these See, not scenes, but all of these cases that he took on, all of them eventually would like wrap up in the end. And I was like, are these going to become important later? And they're all going to be a part of like the same, like the, um, oh gosh, don't ask me questions. It's too hard. But yeah. <laughs> the cases that she took on when she first was like, oh, I'll go ahead and consult for people and you come in and I'll pay you money. So I thought that some of those smaller cases would eventually lead into the bigger case. So that was what I was wondering. Oh, good. I mean, that's something to think about. <laughs> and you were going to say something, Bree? That was what I was saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bree's like, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> I can't say anything. I'm just think of the TV show, and it made me really want to rewatch them. But that's because Benedict Cumberbatch is also a tall drink of lunky water. You could really get it on a warm day, a cold day, a uh, mediocre day, a uh, moody day. <laughs> Penguin weirdly. Penguins. Penguins. Yep. I, I think it's really uh, disturbing when people uh, engage in coitus when their animals are in the room, uh, meaning cats or dogs. But I might do it with him. Oh, oh the cat. I might do it. I might do it. I might, I might do it. <laughs> <laughs> like for that, for him, I would. Just like, you know, I might consider. I might consider the possibility. <laughs> oh, Nicole! How dare you mute yourself? Now I feel like I have to host the pictures back on. Oh my God. She's dying, doing? and you're like over here shit talking her for having the mute. <laughs> Like she's gonna have to run in and give her the Heimlich in a minute because she's choking, and you're like just gonna shit talk her. Wow, I, wow. I see where this friendship is. <laughs> she'll forgive me. I know that she doesn't forgive Zoya, but she'll forgive me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm like, yeah, take it away, Jen. And you're like, oh no, <laughs> the panic is real. Like I'm already sweating, and I'm just like, it got more real. <laughs> I was like, this is why I can't do lives. I'm too self-conscious. Oh I grabbed my, my cat, but he's just slightly far enough away. <clears throat> yeah. Farted away? He's, too, he's just far enough away that I can't grab him. Oh, I was like, wow, well, he's not just you. <laughs> <laughs> my dog does that, so I'm like, you. Like when I'm working out, huffing and puffing, and then she's just like, I'm like, thanks. My mouth was open. <laughs> like I'm already my dog. Listen, yeah. I'm here for returning everything in 2021. <laughs> we're still figuring out how we return the children, but that's <laughs> <laughs> it's like we will find a way. <laughs> okay, so my next post note is <laughs> that's got it. Okay, to, but yeah, we're back to the tangent. Okay. <laughs> So there was just some scenes between Charlotte and uh, Lord Ingram. Like there was the tension there. You could get it, you know, like he was looking at her lips. He was was looking it? At her. Yes. Then when they were like talking, there's always some like some sort of eye contact where he was not mm -hmm. looking at her eyes. He was looking at other parts of her body. <laughs> so Great. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. Is it hot in here or like what? He's like, I'm no, it is hot in here. He's a hundred outside. Yeah. <laughs> so hot. It is so hot in here. Like, I don't even know why I decided to put my hair down because it's so hot. I know. Okay. I'm just like, I cut my hair and I'm <clears> thinking, <throat> okay, that was a mistake because now how am I going to put it up? It all just like falls back down. Oh, yeah. It's the wrong time to cut your hair. I needed it though. It had been a year. <laughs> you have to shave it off and regrow it out next winter. Yeah. <laughs> There you That's go. not I'm a like, bad idea. I've shaved <laughs> my hair off twice. Huh? Do it. 
<laughs> just the Clippers one day. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I, said, uh, I don't give a shit about hair. I'm still bomb. I'm bomb with or without hair. I don't give a shit. So I was my life. The shortest I ever went was like to my shoulders. And that was it. A couple times. I can't imagine you with short hair, Nicole. I've known you so long and it's always been long. Well, so <laughs> like if you were to cut it, I would be like, who... Who are you? What am I? just want to know who cut her hair and like startle you. <laughs> she would. It would freak me out. It would freak me out hard, guys. If you ever did that and you came on the, the live, stream, live stream, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> yeah, next live stream is going to happen. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. And you've already prepared me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've told you it's going to happen. And it's just going to be a surprise. I will. I'll have to do that. I'll just start talking about my trip. I'll pull a photo off the wall and being like, this is when I was here. Here's, and I'll try and think of a fun story. I'm sure I've got a thousand of them. I can talk about travel for days or my cat or your cat. Um, there was another scene with Charlotte and Lord Ingram where uh, he was just like, um, sh he snuck into her room and he was all like um, disheveled with like grass on his shoes and stuff. And he was just like, um, <laughs> he was, like, He's like, I can't. I came not to get abandoned, but to sleep with you since I almost died tonight. And she her, like brain shorts out. She's like, um. <laughs> and I'm like, listen here, Mister, don't. It's like, don't start something you can't finish because she. <laughs> and then he just like starts laughing. I'm like, you're such an asshole. You're such an asshole. <laughs> so he's like, she just rolls her eyes. Very funny. I'm like, okay, play it off. But I'm pissed. <laughs> I needed more. <laughs> yeah, man, and there's so much shit I want to say. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> Goddamn! I'm thinking about just throwing out my TBR and just finishing the series. <laughs> I mean, not a bad idea. Can you? I literally you? can't, and I hate it. I oh, no. cannot. And then I still have to. I still have to do my TBR for Love in the Night, Izzy. I still haven't I mean, done it yet. I have to TBR. finish. Three or four more books, and then I then I can read these. And then Love in the Night starts, and then I will go back to these. Yeah. Is there is there hand grazing in the first book? No, just longing looks, and then there's like there is a kiss at the end. Yeah, it's a very it, it reminds me of the um, Deanna Rayborn's uh, Veronica Speedwell series. If you've read those, mm -mm. I haven't. Um, they're similar, like kind of. Small mysteries in one book, a little more explicit, but not much. Not much. We end with like, I think they get more explicit as you go. But the first Ooh. one, you're like, and you're like, oh my god, just fucking kiss by the end of the book. So it's <laughs> right. Crazy. I hate it's that when I have to wait to the second resurrection of our Christ Lord in order for <laughs> some to go down. Like that's just not okay. I gotta wait okay. for the next coming. No. <laughs> no, that is her other series, which I have read, which is more romance than mystery. That the first one is like uh, a curious beginning. A curious, a beginning. curious beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write that I book. have that book. It's really cute. I need to actually read the whole series, but um, I really like those two. These give me similar vibes, like they're kind of in the same family. Okay, wrote it down. Got it. I was like, why yeah, is that so familiar? Like and then I was like, that's because I bought. I think I bought that one. Is on a sale at some point. It, she's like a butterfly. Uh, she catches butterflies and like they to pin and stuff. Oh. Like for uh, science, it's very weird. And I was like, oh yeah, those are those are things people did back then. <laughs> that was their like thing. And I think he does like taxidermy. The hero. Mm. It's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. <clears throat> um, let me see. We talked about that post-it note. Did we though? We did. Uh, there's we another. Will never know. There's we another. Tell us about it. <laughs> there's a chin. There's a chin reference. Mrs. Watson oh. beats me round the clock, and I haven't turned anything down. But at the rate I'm going, within the week, I'll reach maximum tolerable chins. <laughs> 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 She's like then I'll be obliged to give up this reckless dining. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I was like, I've never been so proud to have a 1.5 chin. I've never been so proud. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, oh yeah, like we didn't even really talk about um, the murder. <laughs> oh, yeah, the murder. 
<laughs> I forgot we had a murder in the book, yeah. like yeah. repeatedly. So, yeah. like, oh yeah. I <laughs> really trying to I gotta out. Get out. Okay, bye. Oh, Thanks for hey, being on. I, <laughs> I hope you feel better. You know, I'm just laying here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I bye. will see you soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, I finished the book today, and we were talking about it, and I was like, yeah, I finished it. I already forgot who done it. Yeah. <laughs> when they revealed oh it, I was God. like, wait a minute, it was who the, this who guy? Did? It, was, it was someone in his staff, wasn't it? Yeah, like her friend was assaulted by him, like as yes. a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't think of this person. I'm so sorry. And then they killed him. I Someone had committed suicide too, and they made it look like it had not, like they didn't yeah, want. So she, because of that, she made it look that way, and then her friend to avenge her read her diary, read her diary, then avenged her by killing him. And Sophia then, Sophia Lonsdale is one of them, right? I think so. Yes. <laughs> sure. Okay, she had I want to say yes. Sophia was the victim. Um, I love how we all get quiet. We're like, yeah, we're like, yeah, we totally read this <laughs> yeah. freaking book. I did. I did not pay any attention to this part. <laughs> I okay. Yeah. Nope. No clue. It's like there was a there was a Sheridan, and then there was a Sackville. Clara Sackville um, killed herself uh, because of the uh, frozen CO two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Was she and the then, victim then? <clears throat> no, she was the. Um, she wrote about it. Well, that was the diary. Got, yeah, she got abused, and then you know when she was younger, and then as a teenager, killed herself. Oh yeah, because when she started her cycle, mm -hmm. Sophia stopped. Sophia yes. Lonsdale was the one that killed Mister Sackville for Clara. Yes. Got it. Yeah, we read the book. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> the reveal didn't matter in this one. I don't remember who burned down the uh, brothel, but then someone took in all the kids, too. Yes, that was. Yes. Hold on. I have a post-it note for that. Did, did they take in the kids, or did the kids die? Because I know that they asked no, about they the took kids. No, they took in the they kids. They took in the kids. Okay, maybe I had misheard that one then. My bad. They That's took me. in the kids. Um, I think it was, was it Mrs. Marbleton? No, Mrs. Marbleton was Sophia Lonsdale, wasn't it? Weren't they the same person? You're now saying names, and I'm like, did I read this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. I'm like, I did read it. <laughs> Literally, what she said. I'm going. <laughs> I know that the the Marbletons come back in the later books. They're significant. Um, oh, okay. I can't exactly. Remember how? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's um, so um, her. Um, her servant brings something in to Charlotte, the letter. It's like, Mrs. Marbleton, my name and address have been typed on the same typewriter she used to produce her first cipher for oh, me to yeah, solve. Right. Let's see what she wants to tell me. So it was from Mrs. Marbleton. Um, and she wrote the letter that kind of explained everything. And um, wasn't she one then of the she people said, that she said, P, like in one of her PSs, it's like, I have taken temporary custody of the children from the house Miss, Mr. Sackville frequented in London. I hope they or some of them at least will grow up to be well. Hmm. So she did, but, <clears throat> hmm. but I think she, I think, Aaron, that you're right. I think like this was like, sh she's a completely different person, I think. I thought she was the the last lady that they talked that she thought it was her husband that was cheating on her or had left her because he always writes on vacations. And she was like, "Don't look into it further." Or maybe that was leading into yeah. Next she was she was one of um, the people who were using Charlotte to kind of figure out like where her husband was at. But it was all I guess it was all a ruse. A ruse, yeah. Okay, yeah. See, it did come back in. <laughs> 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 this all could be this is all conjectured like don't <laughs> don't Please read the book yourselves <laughs> we did not so this was based off of a sherlock like story right like yes, yes. which I one was say, it i want to say it's scarlet. a study in scarlet yeah is it a study in scarlet okay i was like did we did we just pun the title or did we actually i've never read 
any of them. <laughs> but that's very, very watch the show, time. other okay, things so. like that, but I'd never once. Well, I remember I got, I think it was three on Audible, the first a study in Scarlet. And I remember listening to it. And then there was like some weird Western bit that was in the middle of it. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm like, I'm reading the same book. And then it comes in at the end. And I was just like, oh, interesting. Would I not I, have done that myself. The Hounds one, I think, is the only one I've read. Hounds of that Yeah, that one. I think I've read that one. It's been Either such way. a long time. I, I was just like wondering if it is remember. actually like plot for plot the same murder yeah. mystery kind of or not, but I have no idea. I think it took some of the elements because I think they, they played on it at the end where they said you should write books about it. Um, mm -hmm. And they were basically saying you should write books like the ones that are the stories that we know of Sherlock Holmes, yeah. like those specific ones. And then change um, it. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is like, it's funny because this is what she did with, the original series, essentially. Mm -hmm. I use that right. Okay. You knew it. Now that we have let everyone know that we, in fact, did not read this book, <laughs> let <laughs> continue on. <laughs> <laughs> My next post note was basically <laughs> Inspector Treadles. Is that how you say his name? Treadles. That was the inspector guy that, you know, really loved his wife and was kind of investigating the murder. Okay. Got it. Thank God we learned his name. Bye. Okay. So he was looking, he was looking in um, 18 Upper Baker Street, that house is supposedly yeah. had been burgled and he looked under the bed and there was a guy there. I'm like, terrifying. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's so creepy. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we went over that. <clears throat> okay, so this is when um, Treadles and was talking to his wife, and when he was figuring out that uh, Sherlock Holmes was actually Charlotte, and um, he was like, "And how will this extraordinary woman woman be treated as as well as a slightly better than average man?" Like that's her, his wife asking. And he's saying better than that. I hope the extraordinary will always be treated differently. They're extraordinary. After all, what I wonder is whether a not so extraordinary woman will ever be treated the same as a not so extraordinary man. And he's like learning this about like his wife that she actually has thoughts and opinions of her own. <laughs> Stunning <laughs> revelations. He was that's, like, that's, that's so great of a person for her to marry <laughs> down for, you know? <laughs> And, I yeah. was, and he was just like, how, like how long? Like you wondered just now, or you've won, you've long wondered this. Like it caused a strange sensation, almost like panic, to realize that he didn't know this about her. <laughs> well, like, she's going. I fucked up. <laughs> I know. Treadles with the D, with like treadles with the D. Yes. Well, I couldn't. I don't know why. It's like I, names are the first to go, and apparently major plot points are second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but they weave so much together, so it's just like are you explaining it. I'm like, yeah, I totally read that. That makes 100 percent sense. I do remember that. Mm -hmm. But like asking me to get back to you, I was just like, well, it was the guy. He was a creeper, and she killed herself, and then she was avenged. Yeah. That's Summed exactly what happened. Summed up for you in a nutshell. You're welcome, everyone. This is what happened. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're on the ride for Charlotte. At least I was. Like, yeah. Was, yeah. Like, the whole, that was the best thing about this, yeah. this story. Yeah. You like, know, that's what you're here for. It did, we did we, mention that we forgot there was a murder mystery going on. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've said this multiple times. We forgot about it until, like, halfway yeah. through the book. Forgot about it again. At, like, 75%. We're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Somebody oh. died. We don't know who did it. Usually yeah, I remember when it was um, Inspector Treadle's point yeah, of view when he was, was actively like investigating. I'm like, oh yeah, that is going on. You're right. Because we started talking about someone else and I was like, what happened to Charlotte? And then I was like, who's this guy? And then I'd go, oh yeah. That, so yes, what you were saying yeah. is exactly accurate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fun times. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Are we going to touch on Miss Watson at all? <laughs> Do you have any post notes about her? He did. He did. A little bit. Yeah, he that did. I really liked her. That we talked about how, you know, she was going to be her benefactress. And I'm not sure if we, you know, like if we can trust her because Livia doesn't trust her. And Bree mm -hmm. said something very cryptic that Charlotte can <laughs> take care of herself. And I'm like, okay, awesome. She's fine. <laughs> yeah, Bree said to watch her. So now. Livia. Maybe, maybe I read it incorrectly but is miss watson charlotte's mom 
Did I make no, that up? But she connects with her like she was her real yeah. mom. Okay, that's mm -hmm. love that part. She, yes. she had yeah. a connection with her that she was lacking with her own family. I thought that was adorable. Okay. I was like, I swear they said something about a mother, and then I was confused for a moment. So thank it, you. Thank it you. was the plot point about the baby left on the church steps. And then Moriarty came in there at the end. I was just like, oh, damn, where are he getting this guy? Possibly gal, girl, who knows? <laughs> at the very end, yeah. I'm excited for it. I want to know right. where it goes. My last post to know is the kiss between Charlotte and Morning. And I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Just like <laughs> it was like it was like the tension finally, you know, like, you know, coming together, but also I'm just like, sir, you're married. Please. <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait until we do next book. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get got book number two, live stream. Get it on deck. <laughs> um, you do realize that we planned out literally the rest the of the year, year, so it would be well, January. Next year, then. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if Nicole can do three weeks, I mean, if we can all do three weeks in a row, essentially, because it would have to be one of our off weeks, so we'd have to do it. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm all for it, because I will happily continue the series, um, but if we are going to do that, I need to know now so that I don't go into the next one too soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you need to let me know this decision immediately. <laughs> yeah, I don't have crazy TVRs like the rest of you guys. I, this is, it's, I'm free. I'm free. Which is also free. terrifying because I'm like, I'm looking at all my books and I'm going, which of you should I not read next? <laughs> should I not read next? <laughs> Watson accepts Charlotte for who she is while her family wants her to be someone else. That's yeah. true. You need a plan for next year. So we're ready now. <laughs> next year. I still got to make the the stream yards for Seaside Cafe. Seaside Cafe. I'm just like, oh shit, that is coming up soon. And then it's just like, when do we start telling people about what we plan after that? And then we also have to work in a couple other books that we we didn't know the release dates for, so we weren't sure when we, when we could have those live stream. It's gonna be fun, guys. It's a whole thing because they're you know we were sworn to secrecy for something, and now I think we can tell people. <laughs> I'm not entirely positive. <laughs> it's just like, ah. <laughs> but um, so after, I think it's after the crack spine, after the last live stream that's planned, the week after on the 23rd, we are having a live stream with Julianne Lindsay. So ah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is very exciting. We're going to be discussing her new um, indie published cozy series, uh, Bonnie and Clyde, so, which we will obviously read. But um, 100%. Oh, 100%. So very excited about that. Yeah, you see that? Oh, yes. That was what first introduced me to Julianne Lindsay. So it always will hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> Sworn to secrecy. Yes. <laughs> we, have oh, known, we have known about Bonnie and Clyde for how long? <laughs> Remember and that live so stream hard. a while ago like, oh. where, where Julie and Lindsay was like, you haven't liked my author page. It was then. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was then. Well, I'm proud of Nicole for not spilling the beans any sooner. Oh, my God. It was really stressful. I'm not going to lie. Because a lot of times people are like, oh, what's the major project? Or what's the new secret? And I was just like, look at the ceiling. It's like when a sex scene comes on when you're watching with your parents. You're like, everything is fascinating. You guys everything don't know anything. <laughs> Everything else is fascinating, but uh, but yeah, that was. I love that there was a beat, and now we know it's the secret. Yes, so it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Yeah, that'll be great. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really proud of me. I'm terrible at keeping secrets. So as soon as she told me, I was like, the pressure is on, and especially because again, you guys <clears throat> ask questions. <laughs> It tests my ability every week. So every week when we end the live stream, I'm just like mental high five. You survived another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were also we we're also part of like her street team Facebook page. It was like a secret group, and then so and we were also a part of her public one. So it's just like, okay, which did she say on which page? <laughs> what can we release? What can we not? <laughs> what facts yes. to release? But yeah. So I'm very excited for that. It's going to be like now gonna be things fun. are out. You can pre-order the first two books in the Bonnie and Clyde series. So only ebooks right now, but eventually it will be on the paperback as well as physical audiobook. and audiobook. Yeah. 
But don't blame her for waiting. The horror story she told on her cozy mystery page was like, ooh, yeah. don't do it. It's like you, you apparently have to submit a manuscript to be able for people to pre-order a physical copy. And she was like, it is not perfected. I don't want, you know, to like put a manuscript out there and people get it's accidentally not. sent the wrong one. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> no. Especially because like, I just think of the hours and the date. Just the weeks and years of your life that you put into this book and then if the crappy version of it comes out it's just like oh well this is how you were able to pre-order so <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> exactly but, um, <laughs> i feel like even like the crappy version is going to be amazing so oh yeah i'm, I'm fine <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> but, um so does anybody else you know guests, hosts, and people in the comments have anything else you want to say about a study in Scarlet Women that we did not go over yet. I want to put that out there. So true, true. if anybody wants to mention something else. Did anyone see the movie Enola Holmes? Yes. Yes. yes I love that so much. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. The parts where she was uh, trying to find lodging really reminded me of that movie. Yes. Yeah. yeah. True. That was really stressful in this book, too, because you could just see how bad it could go. And you're like, someone save her, please. Yes. Yes. Help her. <laughs> wasn't it? OK, we didn't go over this, but wasn't it Lord Ingram that sent Mrs. Watson to 100%. Charlotte? OK, it was. So that was kind That's, of that was okay. that was like the lead up to the kiss. Right. Because she found out. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah. He was wasn't it him having her followed? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. But then they, I mean, they did introduce his brother at the end, uh, Ingram's brother, uh -huh. which he works in government. My craft ish character. Yeah. Yeah, what is Not his name? name? It was something close to. It was, uh, yeah. What is his name? Bancroft. There Bancroft. you go. Lord Bancroft, yeah. I was thinking that was it, but I was like, there's no way my brain has pulled that. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Izzy, you trust your instincts. <laughs> I was Don't like, doubt no yourself, way. Izzy. <laughs> there's no way my brain pulled that correctly. It did, apparently. I will be continuing. Yes, I will be continuing on. Yes, absolutely. I already have book two checked out. It's just, it's not going to happen until after Love of the Night happens, which is a paranormal readathon. I've got I've to prioritize. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's coming up, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> the 24th through the 31st? Yep, we're doing eight okay. days. This is okay. the holiday weekend. Mm. A extra day to read. I'm excited. I'm ready okay. for some paranormal, but I'm like, oh shit, I got stuff to read before <laughs> that starts to finish. And I'm like, I got that whole TBR. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be fine. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there. <laughs> yeah, Degrassi overlaps, and I did not really put any kind of paranormal in my Degrassi TBR. So it's like, it's not like I can, you know, I don't know It'll what I'm fine. thinking. I, ours, you can read like two books, I feel like, and fill the board though, so. I'm reading two Immortals After Dark, so. <laughs> Depending on which ones you read, you've, you've pretty much filled the board. <laughs> <laughs> like literally fill the board. So. Yeah. You could probably almost fill the board with one Immortals After Dark, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's really good. So I was, I did, I did iron out the TBR. I just got to film it and upload it. So that's going to happen sometime. Can't wait to watch it on Monday. <laughs> In the near future, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. So many, so many readathons. I know. I have to not because then I get overwhelmed. Do you want to read more? Perfect. Awesome. It, I mean, it was it was great. I really like. I we didn't go over star ratings. Oh, sorry, so I was we didn't. giving it four stars. We gave it four stars, but then I thought, like, the more I thought about it, I gave it more of a three point five. I listed it as four, but I think it's more of a three point five for me, just because, yeah. If if I forget that there's a murder or like major plot points, I feel like that's detrimental. But I also feel like it's a it's good enough that I would continue, which is why I didn't say it was a three star book and a three point five rating. So I feel like that speaks volumes too. I'm right around there, 3.5, four star, continuing the series, because I really, really liked the characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
lane, Karen? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel like this book would have been stronger if it was just told from Charlotte's point of view. Yeah. But then you okay. wouldn't get the inside information about like the investigation. But those sections of the investigation, they dragged so hard for me. Nope. They were rough. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's a continuing theme. I think I'll probably try the second one, but be quick to DNF it if it's like Some fall down in the investigation too much, I think. I don't know. Mm. But I loved the Charlotte parts. I loved the feminism and the strong female mm -hmm. character and the making her own life. I really yeah. loved those, those parts. So I don't know. <laughs> I liked it enough to reread it. So there you go. <laughs> love it. Worthy. So wasn't this wasn't this your recommendation? Yes. It was. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, as soon as Love you it. said it, I was like, that's been on my TV for forever. Like, I've got to get it. I just bought the books, one of the ones that I nabbed in that Barnes & Noble deal. So as soon as you said it, I was like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crack right, Spine is you. also one that we've had on our TBR for what, like a year and a half now? <laughs> forever. And I think we both have like four books in that series. I'm like, why are we buying the whole series? And we haven't even read the first, <laughs> first one. one. I just recently bought the third one because I, I have them in paperback, but on oh book outlet, they only have the hardcovers. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy the hardcovers if I have these tiny little paperbacks. So I went to Barnes and Noble. Oh, no. I went to Bookman's and they had it. And I was like, ah. I <laughs> just thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to go resume my Nicole playlist after this. <laughs> Those are so sweet. Thank you. Reread status. Yep. Yeah. All right. So this is our next uh, book club meeting. Everyone smile. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> See y'all then again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You. Uh, you will be here. Deja will be here, and Shay. Shay will be here, right? No idea. I think. Oh, hang on. I've, I've got the sign-up sheet over here. Thank so God. We've got me, you, Izzy, Deja, and Shay. You're right. Oh my oh, gosh, you already have the StreamYard link pulled up? Crazy pants. Yes, I do. Sorry, go ahead. I'm kind of <laughs> proactive because I'm always like last minute. I'm like, I'm sorry, here's the link. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. It was. Sorry. The last comment because I put it in my phone that we had someone from all of our Julie Emmonsies. I was like, someone has an anniversary on June 2nd. And I was really proud of myself. Then I mentioned it and people were like, who? What? And I was like, I maybe have written this down wrong. Um, so thank it's you. Kim. Kim. There I think I wrote it down as Elizabeth. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. Kim's anniversary. So <laughs> I really, really, really hope I read this. <laughs> you got this. I in you. I believe I'm excited you. about this one. It's been on my shelf for a while. So. <laughs> Look, I just, I will never say no to witches. So I'm pipe. I'm pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron too, yet yeah, Aaron, there's a space. Yeah, on that six oh, yes, I grab it. Because yeah, yeah. Witchling was my suggestion too, so. Oh, I, I think so. You, so you, you didn't sign up for your own suggestion. <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh, wait, I better sign up for that. He's like, I'm right in here right now. <laughs> Must be at the live show. I'm gonna tag you on it just so you have to be there. <laughs> yeah, that's how I usually get on these. I just get tagged on social media. <laughs> Oh, I signed up for that. Oops. <laughs> Lane, you're going to be here, right? No! Dang it. <laughs> not, not for a para paranormal romance. That's not... That's not <laughs> I, I actually want you to read it just so you can come on and just, like, give, like, your, like, opinion. Because <laughs> I would really love that. Just think about it. Think about it. <laughs> oh, just watch the wrap ups and see how much my synopses of what I read triggers them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm very, I'm very triggered by the misogyny in romance. Mm. I really, I, I can't handle it. <laughs> it's not all romance though. There are, there are progressive feminist romance. I'll make you a list. I'll make you a Google Doc. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. I cannot guarantee which link is that in any capacity, but it does exist. It does. <laughs> See? By popular demand, you have to be there. <laughs> 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 All 
Who's a slogger? Not me. Thirty-seven. I'm updating my app right now because I have a, our like future live streams. I have it all throughout the year. I mean, I won't give spoilers because I don't know how much we're allowed to talk about. I mean, these are all books that are going to be out, but still. Okay. Thirty-seven years is amazing. Congratulations. That is awesome. That is awesome. Like, yay you. What are you doing right? You got to tell us your secrets on the next live. Well, it was awesome. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> We gotta read more. I mean, the crack spine is. I don't think romance. It's a cozy mystery. Cozy. Maybe. Okay. Seaside Cafe. <laughs> Seaside Cafe. Too, I, think. Yeah. I mean, there's a frustrating romance in that one where you just. <sighs> I want so them to be that meme from Tangled. That's all I want. It makes me so Aww. happy. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It's I Share that. Oh, I will. I'll send you. I will send you the yeah. link. Anybody wants a Google Doc of romance recommendations, I will make you one. Make <laughs> I it. love it so much. Just make it, Nicole. Have, have the really freaky section that scares people and makes them question your judgment. And then have, have the that normal already. <laughs> I was like, I have that list already. I have it. <laughs> I believe I've already shared that Google Doc as well. <laughs> I can't even place your last word. Deja. <laughs> I love you. You're baby. young. Don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Not the time. My high school boyfriend got mad at me because I told him this wasn't going to last. He was very mad at me. <laughs> I was like, dude, we're in high school. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? <laughs> not me. Like, this isn't a romance. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, not me. That's what's not going to happen. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> My parents are always like, yeah, we're not worried about it. <laughs> we're, not worried about it. we're not worried about her. It's literally it's like it's high school. Like we're gonna go away to college, and like this is not gonna be <laughs> not just self roast. <laughs> I probably can't say that anymore now because I did get married at twenty one. But I'm just saying. I was gonna I, say Nicole did marry her high school sweetheart. I, did. So I know. I know. As You're as you like that, one of the like, few Nicole. exceptions, though. Like. Yeah, I, I am the exception. I'm not the rule. Even my own father was like, you know, like high school relationships. So <laughs> like, <laughs> Be like, dad, this on one's my, forever. <laughs> on my wedding day, I'm like, thanks, dad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deja. <laughs> That's it. Just remember, just remember what I text you. Just remember, whenever you start feeling sad, just remember the last text I text you, okay? Just remember well, you that. need to share it with us, because, you know, there are other lonely people up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was literally like a diss at her ex, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good person, just hell stupid. He's like, she was like, I'm sad, but I do wish him well. I was like, no, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll be petty for you. It's fine. <laughs> oh, on your wedding day. <laughs> he literally was just like, "Are you sure you want this big elaborate wedding? You just don't want to elope to Las Vegas." <laughs> always elope to Vegas. That is always the answer. The stress of planning a wedding, I feel like, would kill me. So but I think in two I'm and a half happy. weeks, go to Vegas. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, two and a half weeks, and just go to Vegas. Yeah, make it a destination wedding. Right. And then they all just have to come to you. And if they're if you're really important, you'll follow me. And then there's no stress on my part because I'll just be like, all right, we'll pull over on the side of the road. Let's have a nice little ceremony. It'll be in London. Let's just be real. If I could get married in the Bodleian, let's just it's gonna happen. In the Bodleian? They won't let it happen, but they if it won't happen. It's never the wrong answer. <laughs> I was a 19-year-old bride. Or are you talking about you? <laughs> could be both. Oh, that would be exciting. I was, People share that. <laughs> I was 19. I was 19 years old. Nice. I'm not sad. I'm bitter. <laughs> 10 year old boys are dumb. Like, don't don't worry about it. I promise you. <laughs> They're idiots. We're all dumb in different ways. But <laughs> everyone's special kind of stupid until their mid 20s. Uh, yeah, it's like, like, don't worry about it. It's accurate. <laughs> accurate i don't feel it like it's time for it to embrace it <laughs> you're not really like you don't i feel like 25 people always say that's the age but i'm like 25 you're still kind of stupid let's just be real it's really when you hit like 
27 to 30 is when you really hit your stride and you're like, I know things. I feel like I've lived a little bit of life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then your body starts breaking down. So yes, if you do anything yes. strenuous, like try and raise children or put together <laughs> Ikea furniture, you got to do it before. <laughs> yes. do it before all that. I told her, like, oh, my husband, I'm on the wrong side of 30. We got to get shit done. I mean, <laughs> it's so, I used to laugh at those memes and being like, oh, nothing's going to hurt. Like, that's so stupid. I wake up now and I'm like, you still got so wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I slept in a weird position. Yeah. Oh no, the, I got eight hours of sleep and then your neck is just like, yeah, but you didn't do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's also you sure true. did got those eight hours in the wrong position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Deja. Oh, so many stupid people over there. I'm not saying they all go away. True. It's, it's, yeah. it's a whole other kind of. It's a better. <laughs> yeah. You Slightly. can manage who you're around. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still at the point where it's like when I make decisions, I'm like, I need an adultier adult. Like yes. I need <laughs> someone who's better at being an adult than me to make this decision because well, I can't. The best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For those of you who are doing the Percy Jackson read along, this is our next Percy Jackson. And we have... Um, we're not breaking up the books anymore, so we are discussing the entire book during these live streams because we are like speeding up the read along because we are going to like 2022, and <laughs> we're like we got to get this done. So if you are, it's May 24th, so that's a Monday. I know they're normally on Thursdays, but that's a Monday because of conflicting things that are happening. But um, and then also Bree is doing um, some reading sprints for this book because it is slightly longer than the Percy Jackson, like the first series. So oh. she was just. Gonna, so that's happening on her channel tomorrow, but then the read uh, the actual live stream is going to be on my channel on the 24th Monday. So <laughs> <laughs> If you wanted to take a screenshot <laughs> All righty, but if no one else has anything oh hi <laughs> You caught the end how are you? <laughs> I was like, I'm really hungry awesome. now. And <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom really bad. I drink a lot of water. <laughs> Same. So, yeah, oh. I've literally I I'm done. I like <laughs> two, two of these fits in my cup and I'm nearly done. So it's like yes. <laughs> I had a body armor before this because I was out and about running errands and it was really hot. So I was like, I need to replenish everything, but I always forget that those make me have to pee really bad. Um and then so I started drinking water and I was just like but halfway through this live stream, I'm going, okay, bad decisions were made. And now I'm going to have to sit here and regret all of them. <laughs> all of it. But I really do like the tropical punch. Truly. It tastes like you're on an Island. So <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> but if no one else has anything that they would like to discuss, um, that's basically it. So thank you yeah. to everybody. Thank you to my special guests. I Thanks really appreciate every good. single one of you. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>